So the question asked of here is which of the following instruments is used with a pull motion in resector osseous surgery. So as we all know resector osseous surgery means that you are removing bone. Regenerative is you are adding bone in order to restore the normal architecture. In resective you are trying to remove the bone in order to restore the normal architecture of bone. So amongst the, there are four options given over here. Amongst this let's just look into which of, which of the following can be used in a pull motion. What we need to remember is chisels as such are instruments which are used with a push motion. The main reason why you use chisels with push motion is because they are used with a force. The bevel of the instrument is also such that if you see this is how the instrument is beveled. So you push the instrument so that it can cut through the bone. Okay, so all chisels are used with a push motion. However, there are certain exceptions and these are called pull motion chisels. The pull motion chisels are also called as the back action chisels. As you see over here, this is a back action chisel. This is a chisel scalar. This is the ocean bean chisel. This is again a push motion chisel. How you identify this instrument is you will have two concave surfaces. And then you will have the shank. And there are bevels present over here. The bevel is here. So you have two concave surfaces. This is very important because this is a neat question which was asked as to how, did, how do you identify the ocean bean chisel. The waddle stitch chisel is used for in conservative dentistry and that is not important for us over here. In addition to that, there are certain other chisels. Over here, what you see, all three of them are back action chisels and all three are used with a pull motion. However, what you see over here, these are interproximal chisels. They have these serrations that you see. These serrations are used to remove the interproximal irregularities that are present in the bone. The main advantage of these chisels is that since they are narrow, they can be in, you know, inserted into the interdental area and they are useful to remove the bony irregularities that are present over there. Amongst these two, what we need to remember is the names of the instruments because these can also be potential MCQs to you and you know, the questions might come from these chisels because they haven't asked a lot and probably there could be a chance that one of these two instruments can come as an image based question to you. This is the Schluger and this one is Sugarman.